What up African family and welcome to another video of African history, culture, and worldview. And welcome back to my series African Myth and Legend 101 where I tell various stories from African myth and legend. Today, we're going to tell the Ethiopian myth on how dominion and rule pass from women to men. And as always, don't forget to support the home team on Patreon.com and go to Afrographics.com, a website where you can get helpful illustrative infographics on African history. Links to Patreon and Afrographics are in the description box below. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. There were very few women in the early days of the Darasa, and so the men were forced to do all the household work. They fetched firewood and drew the water and attended to the gardens, work which is now done by women. All the elite within the society were women, the rulers were women, the officials were women, Ako Manoya was the last queen among the Darasa. She had named no heir apparent from her followers at the time, although she was childless. Ako governed alone, giving orders to the officials and hearing their reports and inspecting their works. The men, during this time, were beginning to complain about their task and the way in which they were forced to serve women. The leader of the men was married. He had a beautiful wife but he also had a mistress, and the mistress revealed his agitation to the queen. The queen summoned the wife and told her that she knew how her husband was subverting the men and plotting against her rule. He must die, said Okoye Manoya. How he dies is your choice. If you bring me his head, I shall make you my heir, and you shall rule after me. That night, the wife served a big meal for her husband so that he fell asleep after dinner. Then she took a knife from the kitchen and cut his throat, and when he was dead, she cut off his head. She took the head to the queen in the morning and was named the heir apparent to the realm. The loss of their leader disheartened the men for a time, but then they reorganized. They decided that the queen must die and they selected the time, place, and means. The queen would have to leave the town for a festival they knew, and so they dug a pit along the road, a deadfall trap. They covered the pit with branches and leaves, and then over the leaves they scattered earth and clay. When the day came and the queen left the town, the men rushed about her on the road so that she was forced to walk over the pit and she fell through. Furious, she pronounced her last words. She would be the last queen of the land. Then, the men buried her in the pit. They also wished to stone the heir of the young wife, but she climbed into a tree and clung to it. And so, instead, they killed her with spears. Since that time, in that region, men alone have ruled. If you like these videos and want to support in its continued production, you can support the home team on Patreon.com. The link is in the description box below. Know thyself. Remember your ancestors. Peace.